Hi there, Skid Evenstani, CEO of OneWire. Welcome to Open Door. Today we're going to go interview my very good friend Tom Dean, who's the CEO and founder of Avista Capital, one of the most successful private equity firms on the street. Their strategy, they partner with seasoned veterans, professionals who really know their stuff in each industry. They've done incredibly well. He's an incredibly interesting guy. Let's go see what he's up to. Tom, can't thank you enough for having me over today. Really appreciate it. Um, before we start talking about um, Avista, I'd love to hear a little bit about your background, where you grew up. Uh, thanks, Giddy. Uh, so I was born actually in Taiwan. I'm the son of a foreign service officer and grew up uh, 14 of my first 18 years in Asia, mostly Hong Kong and Taiwan. Uh, we always kept a home base in Northern Virginia and I attended the University of Virginia undergrad, uh, graduating there in 1979 with a double major in economics and foreign affairs. Um, after a three year stint on Wall Street at the Irving Trust Company, which no, now no longer exists, uh, I went to Harvard Business School where I graduated in 1984. I then went on to Goldman Sachs uh, for four years and then uh, actually Tony James uh, recruited me to join uh, Donaldson Lufkin and Jen Rett in their emerging private equity business. So I was one of the early hires in what became DLJ Merchant Banking Partners. Got you. Um, and we subsequently there raised three different funds, DLJ funds one, two, and three. And in 1995, I became managing partner of the DLJ Merchant Banking business, which was the LBO business, a, a subset of the old alternative capital business. And then in 2000-2001, um, Credit Suisse acquired us. Credit Suisse really came to me and said that they were changing their strategy mm -hmm. and to uh, do more of a co-investment focused business and therefore in, uh, invited me to take half of my team, really at their, at their request, and spin out to form Avista Capital, Got which it. was a terrific uh, opportunity. Sure. What did you do differently at Avista, or did you follow the same business model? You know, I think one of the keys to our success at DLJ Merchant Banking was that we were very operating executive-centric, hiring executives who had recently left industry and surrounding them with talented deal professionals, and really asking those executives to help us evaluate source and manage the businesses that we buy. We carry that same strategy to Avista where we focus primarily in healthcare in New York and energy in, in Houston. How do you go about finding these executives? I mean that's uh, obviously there are a lot of talented people out there but how do you uh, pinpoint the people that you put on board? Well because we've been in the deal flow for as long as we have now almost 20 years and done the numbers of transactions that we've done this team here at Avista, the partners at Avista have completed about 90 transactions over the years, investing over $9 billion of equity. You get to know a lot of executives, and especially since uh, our investments tend to be more middle market. So as I said, 9 billion, 90 companies, mm -hmm. that's 90 different CEOs. And you really get to learn who's who really understands how to build value, who can work within a levered environment. And when we find those executives and we have a positive experience with them, we try and recruit them to join us again. Obviously, things have changed significantly with regard to private equity and the number of players that are out there. How has it changed and where do you see it going 10 years, 20 years out? Well, I think there's been a couple different trends that are in, severely impacting and changing the way private equity works today. The first is on the fundraising side. And I think it's getting more and more difficult to have limited partners uh, invest across a wide swath of firms. You're seeing them consolidate as some of the big firms are all offering multiple different products and really becoming asset managers. I think that's a, that's a big trend that will continue and that consolidation of capital, I believe, will continue. I think secondly, the, the, while, while the financing markets are very strong, uh, they tend to be strong sporadically in different, in different pockets, whether it's geographically or industry-wise, and having really strong industry focus uh, and having developing strong relationships with those big sources of financing is more and more critical as those firms decide not to cover 100 PE firms, maybe only 20 or 15. And so being one of that short list is really important. And that comes from demonstrated excellence and success in industry. Firms normally break themselves down in terms of analysts, associates, VPs, partners, what have you. How would you break down the structure of your organization? And what skill set does each person have before they become a partner of the, right. of the firm? So we look to, we're still a pretty small firm with less than 20 professionals. Uh, and we are looking to bring in 
young people who have had a, a great experience at a Wall Street investment bank, perhaps for two or three years, we'll bring them in, what we like to say, post-Wall Street, pre-MBA for a couple of years, expect those uh, professionals then to go back to business school, and in that, then we call, those are associates of ours. Then our vice presidents, and I'm very pleased to say that most of our vice presidents currently are alumni from that uh, associate pool. They go off to business school and then come back uh, and join us as vice presidents. We're looking for them to start running deal teams. Then we'll typically have a principal or partner on a deal as well. And, and those, at that level, we're asking those professionals really to run all aspects of a transaction, present to the investment committee, sit on the boards of directors of the companies that we own, and really take that investment from cradle to grave, hopefully in a very successful way. What do you look for when you're hiring folks? What really is something that sets people apart where Tom Dean just says, you know, we got to hire that woman, we got to hire that guy? Well, I think uh, first and foremost, you have to work hard and be smart and do well in your courses. Uh, that's, again, sort of these days is a given. Uh, or a prerequisite, I should say. But I'm really looking for people who are articulate, who have thoughts, who can think on their own, who have a point of view, an opinion, who know when to express them and have confidence, but also know when it's time to get to work and just get the job done. So I'm really looking for that well-rounded athlete. Uh, there's plenty of people who have triple eight hundreds on all their board scores who really can will never rise above the uh, analyst or associate level. So we're looking for the next partners in our firm, and those are people who have those intellectual capabilities but are also uh, have what it takes from a marketing side, from a communication side, from a writing side, and, and an ability to have a presence kind of side to uh, really be future leaders for us. I know you're a busy guy. Cannot thank you enough for taking the time to meet with us today. Again, Tom Dean, Managing Partner, Chief Executive Officer of Avista. Really appreciate it. You're welcome, Skitty.